Hi there, uh, Brian Chung with Yahoo Finance. Uh, to expand on Steve's question about Paul Volcker, um, there was also a great pain that came with that as well. Uh, higher interest rates obviously affecting households and, and businesses and wondering how you kind of uh, square what might be demand destruction. Are you already seeing that? Is the idea here to incentivize a lack of spending to decrease consumption to perhaps table business investments? Is, is that essentially what's happening through this hiking cycle? Thanks. Well, so as I mentioned, we're you, you can see places where where their demand is substantially in excess of supply, and what you're seeing as a result of that is prices going up uh, and at unsustainable levels, at levels that are not consistent with two percent inflation. And so, what our tools do is, they, as we raise interest rates, demand moderates and it, it, it moves down. Um, interest rates, you know, businesses will invest a little bit less, consumers will spend a little bit less. That's how it works, but. Ultimately, getting those getting supply and demand back, you know, back in balance is what gives us two percent inflation, which is, which is what gives the economy a footing where where people can lead successful economic lives and not worry about inflation. I mean, it, so yes, there there may be some pain associated with getting back to that, but you know, the the big pain is in not dealing over time is in not dealing with inflation and allowing it to become entrenched. Great. 